Hello again, world, universe. I'm universe. here again with Teresa <laughs> here to chat. Chat. And then what's our topic? Our topic is power and how to empower ourselves. Our sun's in Leo. So that brings up the ego. Okay, Leo is definitely egocentric. And that's a good thing when utilized properly. When we're not projecting our need for power onto other people, but we're actually empowering ourselves to shine in our own right. A lot of times that Leo energy is too forceful. So we're try we want to express ourselves, but it comes out as force rather than the gentle, warm sunshine that it is. Mm. Okay, so instead of forcing ourselves on others, we empower ourselves through recognizing we have the right to be. We can be our little egocentric selves. <laughs> In half whatever form we need, but we do not need to demand that other people accept our version of it. Mm-hmm. And show recognition and applause. Yes, and, and applause. Yeah. Come on, we're all going to shine in our own right. Mm-hmm. The sun doesn't want us to sit out there and praise it every day. It just does its thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we all grow because of it. Couldn't care less. <laughs> <laughs> right, the sun doesn't even give a second thought about us. <laughs> but yet its warm, nurturing glow allows everything to grow on this planet. It allows us to grow and prosper. If, okay, but mm-hmm. there's also the moon. So we have to go into the dark side of the self, illuminate that process so that we can come out and shine. We cannot be shining all the time. Mm-hmm. If we try to shine all the time, we'll burn ourselves out. Mm-hmm. And we've all, I'm sure, at one time or another encountered a burned out Leo who's just the worst thing to deal with on planet Earth. Ever. I've been that burned out Leo. It's horrible. Of course. Mm-hmm. I've got sun in the first house. Mm-hmm. And oh, boy, if I'm burned out, the world's burned out. <laughs> 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 Which is totally egocentric, by the way. <laughs> so being my egocentric little self. <laughs> so to balance that, we, we recognize that it's my sun that's going to shine and, uh, and my illumination that's going to assist those around me without me forcing illumination upon them. Because we can get into that real quickly and real easily when the Leo sun is shining brightly. Mm, definitely. We can get real self-centered and only see it from our point of view. But the sun shines on everyone. Mm. So we have to... <laughs> so, again, we make peace with that by empowering ourselves and honoring our ability to be without any kind of force. Totally. And we can tap into that force by forcefully changing our, our own minds, not trying to force other people. Oh, and that'll bring up authority issues as well. We'll find ourselves in battles with authority. Mm-hmm. All right? And because we think, you, you know, we're right, they're wrong, they're an authority, and I want the position of authority or whatever goes on there. And it's like, no, recognize what is valuable about their position of authority and how can I be in my own authority without conflicting with the power that is in authority right now. We don't have to go and attack blow it. All it. Up. Yeah. Right, we don't have to yeah. blow it up. But we we have to recognize what is healthy from that and how can I utilize that in order to shift the power instead of trying to forcefully change it. Mm-hmm. Let's start shifting that mm-hmm. and that way everybody's empowered in the process. The authority doesn't have to come crumbling down. The authority can be inspired to say wait a minute, maybe these people have something, or maybe this is a good concept, and we can work together to illuminate, again, it's all about Sun and Leo, so we can illuminate that, Mm. whatever the problem is, name the problem, there's always a solution. Key is to name the problem so you can find the correct solution. And not to focus on the problem of this authority is in my way, it's like, how do I utilize this authority to work for the benefit of the authority, but also... How does everyone win? Exactly. Mm Because we all can win. We are all here to win. There really isn't anyone here to lose. Yeah. We're not here to lose. Mm -hmm. We're here to be shining our own magnificence. And each individual has that magnificent sun somewhere within them. Totally. And as the whole, we are to allow that person to bring that sun out. Without judgment and without, you know, oh, that's just a terrible way to be, you an <laughs> egocentric person. And it's like, no, without egocentricity, <laughs> egocentricity <laughs> we would never be individuals. Yeah. 
And we want to be our individual self, but we want to be our authentic individual self. Mm. So it's not all not just about something, ourselves. Yeah, so, that, so mm. we're not just wrapped up in ourself and ourself only. Mm. To be an authentic self is to share that true self with the outside world, mm. whether it's accepted or not. Mm. Okay? Because if we're okay with ourselves, we don't care if we're accepted or not. I don't care if we accept this <laughs> shiny <laughs> no. I could care less. It has no thought of us. Like, like Will said, it's not thinking of us. <laughs> While it's out there shining, it's not thinking of us. <laughs> so yes, how can we ignite that fire within to where we can be our creative, magnificent self without burning other people's out or being too forceful or being too hot mm. in the way we're going to approach it? With each sun sign, what do you recommend specifically? Like, what should an Aries sun sign do to get their creativity and like their contribution out and everything? Well, Aries has difficulty with follow through. Okay, and that's just the nature of the sign. So, Aries, please see Can something. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry, I was off the camera. Aries, learn follow through. <laughs> I know it's really difficult for you to do, but in order to be your true self. You can't just start a project and then run away from it. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to incorporate those around you that can help you complete the project. Okay? So that's with the Aries. That's how the Aries can shine in their own right. All right? What about Taurus? Let's Taurus? Yeah. Oh, Taurus shining? Oh, God. Taurus get... Okay, the negative side of that is they get too fixated on one way of doing it, and, they, and they ha they're so slow to change that anyone who's inspiring them to maybe take another approach, that becomes an authority issue for them. Mm -hmm. And they just know I'm going to do it this way. So so the Taurus needs to recognize they've got the stamina and the drive to get there, mm -hmm. but they've got to be just a wee bit more flexible in how they're going to get there. Mm -hmm. um, Gemini's doing two things at once. <laughs> 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 Nothing wrong with that. Again, nothing wrong with the, the duality of self, but to embrace the duality of self. That's what the Gemini needs to do. Mm. So don't keep yourself separate forever. Don't say, come on, the twins. Well, one of them's going to be evil. <laughs> Not necessarily. <laughs> they don't have to be evil. <laughs> they can be different without being evil. <laughs> so how do we combine and blend the twins? How do we get the twins to go in the same direction? Mm. Okay. Because it is within oneself, and it's the dual self, and we've got to we've got to recognize our duality, and get that duality to work in unison with itself rather than against itself. So that's Gemini's little struggle, may possibly this month. Cancer, we love our cancers, but can <laughs> it's so watery. They're they're ruled. Come on, they're ruled by water. And they drown in their emotions. And then when it's in Leo, their, their emotions are huge. So, so nurture yourself, Cancers. Nurture yourself. Quit taking care of everybody else and take care of you. This is your time to come back to center and, and see what you need. And be willing to ask to have those needs filled. Instead of just doing and doing and doing and then becoming the martyr. Mm -hmm. But again, not all cancers are martyrs, but it can be that it's way. It's the challenge of cancer. Yes, it's the challenge. We're just embracing the challenges of the signs. Mm -hmm. We kind of basically covered Leo's, but come on, Leo. <laughs> Shine, but not so brightly that you burn everyone else <laughs> out you, around you out, or even yourself. <laughs> okay, act, but leave the drum on the stage, not in the personal life. Okay, get out, Shine. Play out the dramas, but do that on a stage, not in your personal life. Virgos, me, um, I get over analytical. <laughs> I don't like to shine. I want to be behind the scenes. I want to be the sun behind the cloud. <laughs> so I would suggest that Virgos <laughs> look at that shadow side of self, illuminate it, and recognize the benefits rather than analyzing it to death. Okay? Oh, I'm, I've got into my egotistical self, and, I, and then we pick it to death for Virgos. So don't pick it to death. Just let it be. Let that subconscious stuff come up, because now it's going to. And just eliminate it and see how it's beneficial to you mm -hmm. instead of detrimental, instead of analyzing it to the point of detriment. Libras. Libras, relationship with self. 
Are you your own best friend? Are you, are, do you honor and love yourself? Because in my book, Libras are learning relationships. They don't understand them. They're learning how to relate. Okay? And they desire it intensely. So in order to have that healthy relationship, have it with self so you can share it with another person. Scorpios, let's hide everything. <laughs> let's paint that sun black. <laughs> But Scorpios can be so incredibly passionate and powerful, so again, ignite that passion without stinging everyone around you or yourself, without being a detriment to yourself again. Mm -hmm. But go deeper. I want Scorpios to go deeper while this Leo sun is so bright and so magnificent. Go deeper. Get. It's kind of like me with my, my shadow self. Scorpio wants to live in the shadows, mm -hmm. okay, and only wants to come out when it's their time to come out. So... So find your right time to come out and shine. Sagittarius, um, boy, <sighs> boy, again, be, be the humanitarian to self prior to being the humanitarian for the planet. Mm -hmm. Reach the highest heights for self so that you can inspire others to go to those heights. Mm -hmm. yeah. Capricorn's all about work, 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 work. Come on, lighten up. <laughs> Maybe work at a little play. <laughs> Maybe lighten up and have a good time. Hey, <laughs> I'm a Virgo. I know what I'm talking about. I love like work, work too. I, I'm with you, Capricorn. Right there. Let's do it. But we, we've got to get balance back into play. We've got to play. And we've got to enjoy the work. Not just work for work's sake, but enjoy the work. And what is it bringing to the outside world? Aquarius, oh, they're off on their own planet. Um, so, and yes, Leo's your opposite. So what are you not accepting in yourself this month that maybe you need to look at and digest and integrate into self instead of just projecting it out or being so far advanced, oh, God, these people are never going to catch up to me. Of course we are. You're just, the, you're just laying the groundwork for us. So make sure you're laying the right path for yourself that, that will ultimately end up benefiting others. Mm -hmm. And then we are to beautiful, beautiful Pisces. We don't know which way to go. <laughs> <laughs> Who get lost in dreaminess? <laughs> Who can lay in the sun and sleep? <laughs> I swear they're all cats. But, you know, ish, cats, I don't know. There's a relationship there somewhere. So don't get seen catfish. catfish. There you go, bottom feeders. So that might be what, what our beautiful Pisces want to do, is just like the Scorpios and just like the Cancers. Go below the surface, see what's brewing under there so you can bring it up into the light. Mm -hmm. And let it work for you instead of against you, because that's true empowerment. Mm -hmm. And each side has its benefits in doing this. And again, we're just giving you a snapshot, you guys. There's a lot more to all of this. But we're just giving you a little glimpse and a little snapshot of what you can do to better yourself with whatever sign you are. Now remember, there's a whole chart that, that supports that sun, whatever that sun is, and you do want to look at all of those aspects so that you can, again, be the best sun that you were born to be. Yes. Add your input there. Yeah. You're insightful on those. many levels. <laughs> <laughs> you stun and amaze all of us. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? <laughs> 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 Honestly, I totally agree with what you're saying, especially the stunning individuals thing. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> um, I had a question, though. Sure. True power lets everyone else be who they are, without judgment and without um, malice. We 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 learn to look at our brother as our brother. He's we're all the human family. 
We are all brothers and sisters on this planet. We've all had the nasty little brother that we can't stand. The chatty little sister that we want to shut up. We've had these things. <laughs> so if we can treat one another as family and not dysfunctional family, <laughs> but a very healthy family, <laughs> taking the healthy family approach, we can definitely discover our place within that family without losing any sense of power or of authenticity. Yes. So, like, specifically astrologically, in a natal chart, um, a sun sign uh, can either be one sign away from the Mercury. I know you know this, but... Um, no, tell them. They yeah. don't know this. Um, Mercury can basically be either the sign before the sun sign, the sun sign, or the Mercury uh, can be in the placement, basically, after that. So, I want to get your read on that as for... Because, you know, Mercury is communication, is expression, and the sun is... The, is Mind, the, yeah. How you think... And like since sun is creativity, how would you like, recommend for somebody who has Mercury in the placement right before their sun sign, like how they could express their creativity all all year round and really actualize and manifest and then like same for example you me same sun sign same Mercury and then Mercury after sun sign. Okay, so before the sun sign, that would be the sun sign right before yours on the astrological calendar or the calendar. So, say you have a Taurus Sun and an Aries Mercury, okay, that can be a winning combination when you have the insight, the flash of the insight uh, as to how to get that project going or whatever it is you want, that idea, and then your Taurus can follow through with that. So you want those two to work in unison rather than Aries just trying to go out and do it on its own, thinking about it, wasting all the time thinking about it and never taking action on it, which would be a typical burnout of the Mercury energy, mm. where I have a billion ideas, but I never give it enough time to, for them to formulate. Mm. Okay, so that would you would be able to follow through and try and get those to work, those energies to work with each other instead of against each other. And that's with all of them, you guys. That that can blanket all. Of them. Mm. You want the energies to work together, not separate. Mm. Now, when the I'm going to kind of go a little bit off topic. When your sun is conjunct your Mercury, that gives you mental burnout. That's where you get the cross wires or the burnout. So you've got to guard against that with doing your meditations and keeping yourself clear so that you're, you don't end up burning the thoughts up before they've had a chance to manifest. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, when it's after the sun sign, so we'll go again with the Taurus sun and a Cancer Mercury. Gemini. Oh, excuse me. Gemini. Okay, who has Cancer Mercury? Oh, whatever. Gemini Mercury. Um, see, that Gemini Mercury is going to do two things at once, and Cancer is going to only want to do one thing at once. Mm -hmm. So I would say write down the idea. <laughs> write down both of those ideas. Nurture one of them, and keep the other one on the back burner so, until this one comes to fruition, and then take that one out and do it, rather than losing it completely. And for other Mercuries after the sun sign, um, would you recommend that too? Absolutely. Yes. Well, it's, it's an afterthought in a sense. Mm. In a sense. Very esoteric in that, but it's an afterthought. So you're taking the action and then, oh man, I should have done it like this. Okay, well learn. Don't shit on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're into that. Unless you're into that. But really... <laughs> It's best instead of shoulda, coulda, woulda, it's like I can, I will, and I do, and I am. Mm. So those, those, the valuable insight that comes from the, oh man, don't take it as a detriment, take it as an absolute opportunity to get it done now. Mm. Mm. So in the pre ones, those are the ideas you're forming, okay, mm. and you can follow through with those. The afterthoughts are, eh, that's, Come on, we've all done it. <laughs> Don't think it's wasted. The energy that you applied was necessary to even have the afterthought about it. Without that energy, you couldn't have even had the afterthought or even the foresight. So, blend them. Use them. Make them work for you instead of against you. Well, not even make. Allow them to work for you instead of against you. Whatever placement it is. There's no wrong placement, you guys. There's no wrong mercury. There's no wrong sun. There's no wrong in any of it. It's how you're going to utilize the map you've drawn for yourself. 
Ooh, can we talk about that? About absolutely. Time? I don't know. Uh, I, don't I think we have like two minutes. Okay, okay let's uh, if we cut off then, two minutes. Yeah, yeah we'll cut off if, the craziness. If it, if it cuts off, we'll definitely keep this up for next time. Um, so yeah, I'd love to hear your, your take on that of your chart being what you drew out soul wise and. Yes, you chose the energies. You you chose the time of birth, the place of birth, that was going to give you your house structure as well as your planetary structure. So within that, you take that's why you take the chart as a whole, because you were the one that decided I was going to have this type of sun.